What's up everyone? So I've wanted to make this video for a while now and I've just been a little bit caught up with some stuff and it's always really noisy here because there's like construction noises outside but you know what? I just thought that today I'm just gonna get here and film this and get it over with. So 2020 has clearly been such a crazy year for so many of us. It's just been so crazy with everything that's going on outside and a lot of people are just out of jobs and a lot of companies are sticking and dying out and people are having to defer their plans and still going to be affecting institutions as well and people's education and the plan and everything. But one thing that 2020 did give us is a lot of time to ourselves in quarantine and time is money. And that's what this video is going to be about. Personally, I've had a lot of time this year, more time than I've ever had before and I've tried to use my time as wisely as possible. I've had to realign my plans, my goals and just take time to self-reflect and also invest a lot of time and energy into self-care which has changed my life mentally and physically. I'm just taking a lot of time to myself to just rediscover my passions and my hobbies and just think about what I really want. I've also just been taking care of myself, learning to enjoy my own company and just making myself look and feel good all the time as much as I can because when you feel good, you're more productive, more efficient and all that. Well, in this particular video, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about five ways that you can diversify your income. Let's be real, money solves most of our immediate problems. The first one that I'm gonna talk about is my favorite because it is my main source of income and that is starting an online business. Now, this is very relevant, especially in 2020 because brick and mortar is sinking and e-commerce is soaring. Now, the best thing about e-commerce is that startup costs and investments are minimal or so low that anyone can basically start. All you need to penetrate into the e-commerce industry is a working internet connection and an idea. Now business basically has two parts, supply and demand. So like once you've got like your suppliers and logistics figured out and also of course the sales or your customer base from where you'll get your business from, then you're good to go. Now, I don't have my own money to start my own brand or the kind of capital to invest in like, say, huge production and stuff. So what I did was I became a dealer for, for brands that are already popular and that already have a customer base. I found my suppliers and I targeted the biggest e-commerce websites like Amazon or eBay and India has Flipkart, Mintra and there are many startups that are getting into the e-commerce industry now because everything is moving online so there are a lot of options. So you can like maybe do a little bit of LinkedIn stalking and just shoot your shot to the marketing or the sales department and maybe set up a Zoom meeting and negotiate agreements. I'm an authorized dealer of popular luxury brands so if people search up their products and they place orders I get a chunk of the money. Now this is something I definitely have good control over because I can keep growing my business by increasing my catalog size or um, improving my brand portfolio and then of course then there's the marketing thing promoting your business and stuff and of course if you have enough money or if you're saved up enough then you can always just start your own website or your own brand which is definitely something i want to do eventually but not right now because i definitely want to save up more money so yeah starting an online business is definitely not impossible it can seem intimidating and a little scary at first but anyone can do it it is not impossible and i'm proof that anyone can do it now the second thing I want to talk about is freelancing. Now, freelancing is basically a business where you sell your services and say for example you're a photographer who does wedding photo shoots or a makeup artist or a live musician or even a website developer. If you have skills that are useful for someone then you can monetize it. But if you're just starting out it can be a little difficult to find work so there are websites like Upwork or Fiverr you can look up websites for freelancers there are many or you can also become like a business partner for companies that sell services like urban company and eventually you do end up building a strong network and a client base to keep getting work my brother is a full-time freelancer for several years now and he makes more money than any job in this industry would ever pay him the third thing i want to talk about is the stock market now the stock market is basically an online trading platform where you can buy and sell shares of 
any company. Now, this is how wealthy people stay wealthy and go wealthier. Now, you do need a little bit of savings to be able to invest in the stock market, but you can start anywhere. Now, if you have enough time, it can actually be like a fun game because prices and valuation of companies, it keeps fluctuating by the minute, by the second even. Now, suppose I buy a few stocks of a company in a given moment, right? So I go and refresh the page and I see the price has fluctuated or maybe increased a little bit and I immediately sell off the shares and there I just made some money. So if you have like enough time and enough money to keep buying and selling, buying and selling then it's a great way to make quick money. If you're new to the stock market and you're clueless and you don't know where to start, you can definitely contact your bank and they can help you start an online trading account and you can just take it from there. Now the fourth one is something that I have to mention because this is a YouTube video and that is starting a YouTube channel or monetizing anything on social media. I mean it's obviously not easy but it's also easy because anyone can start a YouTube channel. All you need is a camera which is built into everyone's phones these days and a working internet. Now again, if money is on your mind, then you have to treat it like a business. I don't think there's much explaining to do here because influencers are everywhere these days and I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, if you're smart enough, genuine and can get people interested in you without having to be fake or buying followers or any of that stuff, then it can be really rewarding and that is how so many people are able to do it full time. Influencer marketing is fire right now and e-commerce is the future so AdSense revenue is definitely gonna keep getting bigger and bigger and it is a good place to invest and I actually think this is the perfect time to start because it's a lot easier to get started now there are a lot of resources available now that wasn't available before so it's definitely something that you could try. Also, starting a YouTube channel, in my experience, has a lot of non-monetary benefits. Like, it really helps with your personal growth. Like, to me, it's definitely helping me with my public speaking, which is really important because if you want to be influential, then people want to hear you and you need to know how to speak. It's fun, it's useful in monetary and non-monetary terms and it's definitely something that you could try if you're into it. Now I'm gonna be a little traditional for my fifth point and that is to find work, get a job. Now hear me out, I'm not saying get like a very time-consuming full-time job that you're not at all passionate about, that you hate, but like maybe it could be assistant kind of jobs or just administrative work where you get paid enough to just get by and manage your expenses but also not stressful enough so that you have enough time to indulge in things that you love like hobbies or just arts make sure you have enough time to do things that you love no matter what you're doing now with all of that said obviously there are millions of ways to make money online and offline but these are just some of the ways that I've tried and I continue to do so and that is how I've managed to be a girl boss and you can be too. But you do need to remember that being your own boss or being self-employed is not as glamorous as it sounds. It's a lot of hard work, it requires a lot of time and energy that you're putting in. But at the end of the day, you're investing in yourself. Oh, it's getting dark and I'm getting hungry, but hopefully this video has inspired you to do something new or try something new. Adulting is obviously scary, but we're all in this together. We can all help each other out to just live our best lives in the best possible way that we can. If you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe maybe and, you know, leave comments about how you make your money and maybe we can all just stay connected and help each other out.